so well the ways of holiness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts up to the Trinity, and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, not a stranger to the frail pilgrims, your cherished views will be sheltered. Turn a merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the disciplines of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us sleep in the thought of God, but let each minute take us further into the depths of the august mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossom into the light of divine union, We'll see you all things in your truth and love and unity. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. We were buried with him into death, so that we too might walk in newness of life. How many are my foes, O Lord! 
How many are rising up against me? How many are singing about me? There is no help for healing But you, Lord, are a shield about me. My glory will lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are range on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God, you who strike all my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever. Amen. We were with them into death, so that we too might walk in newness of life. The Word is the true light, which enlightens every man. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world, there he has placed a hand for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his hand. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the soul. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the home. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect all his errors? From hidden vaults acquit me. From presumption restrain your servant, and let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless from grace. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord, my rescuer, my rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Your word is the true light, which enlightens every man. Jerusalem.
Jerusalem, often would I have gathered your children together. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the and mighty spores permeate like the dew. Like a down upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, will proclaim the greatness of our God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways. A faithful God how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your Father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the people. After the number of the sons of God, while the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up. The Lord alone was their leader, no strange God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy now and forever. Amen. Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered your children together. His disciples remembered it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and the thirsty man the Lord did. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wind. May clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths, their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. Declare them guilty, O God, let them fail in their designs. 
Drive them out for their many offenses, for they have defied you. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just men, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. His disciples remembered it was written, Zeal for your house will consume In the letter of James, always speak and act as men destined for judgment under the law of freedom. Merciless is the judgment on the man who has not shown mercy, but mercy triumphs over judgment. My brothers, what good is it to profess faith without practicing it? Such faith has no power to save one, has it? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and no food for the day, and you say to them, Goodbye and good luck. Keep warm and well fed. But do not meet their bodily needs. What good is that? So it is with the faith that does nothing in practice. It is thoroughly lifeless. Mode 7. Shall break upon us. 
You shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Rogade Dominum Messis, ut mitar operarium, operarium sin messem suam. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. The we reflect like the, the Father's light. light. By revealing to us the mystery of the Lord. Eternal fruit of his bosom source of all life and of all truth, who a beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all, the beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by His light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit, Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.